Welcome to the Curate Your Life podcast with Demetria, where we focus on curating the life you've been dreaming of, one goal at a time. Hi, y'all. Okay, so this may be a short episode, but I wanted to come and talk about my second annual retreat of the heart. So I don't know if you remember last year, it was in June, but I had my first annual retreat of the heart. I had just left my 23 year career with an insurance company where I was the executive assistant to the president and I was stepping into full time with TMC, Timmy McVay Coaching. And I started out with a retreat of the heart. This, that's what I called it. It was a solo trip. It was my first solo trip where I was not going someplace to meet somebody or going with people. It was just me. And I went down to a little beach town, Port Aransas here in Texas, and it was fantastic. It was great. This year, I have been doing quite a bit of traveling and I never put that on the calendar because there was always something else with other people, with somebody else, which is fine. It was great and I've had a fantastic time. I've been to France. I've been to Atlanta for the first time. I went to Indy for the race. That was amazing and new and different. And I've been some other places I can't think of off the top of my head right now. And I still have a few trips coming up with with people, with family, with friends. And so I, I've been thinking, I'm like, I want to, I really want to honor that promise that I made to myself. Like every year I want to take a retreat of the heart. Well, I decided that I'm going to have that, but I am going to have a retreat of the heart staycation version and I'm going to do all the things that I would do if I were going someplace but I'm just going to do it here. My apartment is fabulous. I love it. It's everything I want it to be so I'm going to make my retreat of the heart here. This is how I plan to do it. I'm going to pick a week probably the end of July and I'm going to take everything off my calendar. I will have work because I worked when I did that retreat of the heart last year. I'm gonna have work, but it's just going to be me and my brain and work when I need to work and quiet time. I'm not going to have outside appointments. I'm not going to have dinners with anybody. It's just gonna be a few days of just me tea time um i will probably schedule a massage in there maybe get my nails done something like that i would say pre-prepare meals but that's probably not going to happen i'm going to plan to have some meals here pre-made and ready to go and then just have small things that i can put together when i'm ready to eat I have a fantastic pool here, so I may spend some time. It looks like a resort. I may spend some time down there reading, just hanging out. So I'm going to have the retreat of the heart and the mental rejuvenation, but I'm going to do it here. And so one of the things is to build in things that feel like super self-care. I believe in self-care on a regular basis, on a daily basis, but things that feel like deep, special self-care, right? Not having to go grocery shopping, not having to do anything that would seem like a chore, laundry, that type of thing. Making sure that my apartment is set up and ready to go as if I were walking into a hotel, right? The amenities that I want are on hand. Everything's clean. Everything's normally clean pretty darn clean. It's one of my things. And just that I can sit and be and relax and not feel like I have things that I need to do. So that's how I'm doing my retreat of the heart this year. And it's really, I'm going to wake up. I'll probably go on my walks. They won't be on the beach. I'm going to enjoy my coffee. I can sit on my balcony and have my coffee 
and I will probably adjust my schedule some so I don't have those things that I have to do that are normal things just to give myself that space that feels luxurious and like a vacation and just take care of myself and really I have done like in the past I have what I call tea days and on those days it's whatever I want it's everything or nothing it really is just indulging myself right so that's what this is gonna be but when I did this last year I spent a lot of that time reflecting and planning and because I was in a transition time then right but I do want to honor that and you don't have to be I've said this before it doesn't have to be the beginning of the month the beginning of the week the beginning of the year when you can spend that time being reflective and planning and um, being purposeful and intentional with your thoughts I do that on a regular basis with my planning but really taking this time for some big picture stuff right really just giving yourself time to think you know that we go and go and go even me with planning and spending a good amount of time thinking and about what I want to do and thinking about goals and how to get there just giving yourself that space to think I want to say freely just open and just letting your mind wander and recording those thoughts and not so much um, structured planning that type of thing a little more dreaming and wondering I'm having a hard time putting putting words into it because it's almost like spending a few days daydreaming, I think is what I want to say. Even though in my work with my clients and what I do myself, the, the first step in the Curate Your Life process is to really outline the vision for your life, paint that picture in as much detail and as freely as you can really let yourself dream so I do spend a lot of time there anyway that is part of my process but I guess what it is with the retreat of the heart is I have all of that space all of those days I'm gonna plan three days because that's what I had when I was down at the beach I had three days I'm gonna plan three days that are just me it's gonna be very limited communication with the outside world, limited appointments, limited things that I have to do. And I'm just gonna have that space to be and to think and to take care of myself and to recharge that battery. You know, we turn our computers off to reboot. They have to update and do things in the background. And that's what this retreat of the heart is. It's time for me to reboot, to update things, just to let things process in the background. And I encourage you to find, if you can't find three days, if you can't go anywhere, I'm not going anywhere this year, just find some time just to be with you, just to be with yourself, just to listen to what's going on in your head. We have I've told you this before, over 60,000 thoughts a day, they say. They. There is research out there that has been published, but our minds are constantly on and thinking and going and going and going. And this is just, I'm not even going to try and put structure around it. I think that's what I was trying to say. Like normally when I'm doing it, when I'm thinking, when I'm journaling, when I'm working on things, there's structure. This is just almost like free time for my brain. So whatever wanders in, wanders in. If it's something that I feel like I need to capture, I do. And otherwise, I just let, let the thoughts go, right? So that's what I'm going to be doing. My second annual Retreat of the Heart is happening. I was beginning to think that I was just going to let it go because I've traveled and I've done 
things, but I have not had that time, this specific intentional time, just for me, just for whatever, in vacation mode, if you will. So I've decided that I will have that in this lovely little flat that I am in all the time, but I am going to do everything that I can to make it as special as possible. I'm gonna buy flowers. I'm gonna have flowers here. There will probably be some champagne and coffee, which I always have coffee and I do enjoy my morning coffee routine, but I'm going to do things to make it special, probably some like bubble bathy type things and things like that. So that is the second annual retreat of the heart. What are you doing to take care of yourself? I know we talk about self-care. There's a whole series on self-care here on the podcast. You can go back. It was earlier this year. So we have that whole series. And I do believe that it's a daily thing and it's not a luxury. It's a necessity but really carving out some time for yourself because you can take care of yourself and do self-care and carve out 10 minutes here, 30 minutes there, maybe an afternoon, but some real time where you're not being pulled in all the directions, where it's just you and what you want to do for just a little bit. Where can you find a day, maybe a couple of days, Where can you find that to rejuvenate, to reboot yourself, to take care of yourself, to have a retreat of the heart? Think about that. I would love to hear your answers, hear your ideas. If you want to share, if you want to bounce some ideas off me, I'm here for it. You can come over and follow me at Coach Demetria on Instagram and leave me a message or send me a message directly. I'm the one over there responding. I also am the one who responds to all of the emails at info at coachtemetria.com. So that's another way that you can get in touch with me. I would just love to hear what you think, what you have to say about this, if you have anything planned. So let me know. Until next time.